Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Linux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this uh, weekend so far. And welcome to this new video on uh, on Say or Say. I mean, I, I w when I when I used to cover it quite a bit, um, I always struggled with it. But let's just uh, call it Say. But I am um, wanted to do, do an update on this because this actually looks quite interesting uh, to buy and potentially to hold. But that's still a little bit too far in the future. Um, and that's uh, that's that's. Uh, a little bit too quick that I say that, but there's some interesting things going on that I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, both fundamentally and technically, which is always a great combination, of course, because technically I think say looks quite bullish here, and I think we can see some some strong moves still to the upside. But um, if that's also fueled by strong fundamentals, by bullish fundamentals, by bullish fun, uh, uh, um, bullish developments, I wanted to say, uh, then we can go much much higher. All right, so um, yeah, let, let's get right into it. So the first thing is, <clears throat> and I do think that matters quite a bit, is that if you don't know, Say is kind of in the, in this weird rotation of of assets um, with Celestia, Injective, Optos a little bit, but definitely also with Sui, um, and then Say. All right, historically, if you if you look at the last year or so, or, or let's say the last nine nine ten months. They've moved together, moved together quite often. And then if you compare those assets, like I, I, I would say something like Sui and, and Optos, um, uh, comparatively, like Injective still has room to grow uh, as well. And Injective is definitely a coin to keep your eyes on as well. But Celestia has pumped up quite a bit as well. And then if you look at, say, like, yes, the, the, the last, what is it? The last couple of days have been bullish, um, but, co but, but compared to the price action over the course of the last year, um, uh, it's, it's there's still a lot of room to grow, right? So so the next main resistance level is like at 43 cents. And from the current price, that's a move of about 20%. That's a nice move. Um, so I think in general structure-wise, when looking at this entire rotation, there's there's reasons to be bullish. I also think if you, if you zoom in a little bit more here, say was in a very strong downtrend here, and we have been able to break above that since Thursday. Um, with momentum as well, which matters as well, of course. So short term, technically, uh, long term, technically, we're still bearish. You could also see the chart we, we, we just saw. And to really and to, and to really get out of that bearish momentum, we need to break above a level like 45 cents. Right. So if we're able to break above 45 cents, that's very much the ma major level. And then we can actually talk about, you know, turning bullish on the higher time frames. But on the shorter time frames, we've we've already broken some sort of a downtrend here with momentum, while the markets are also stronger. Um, so short term, I'm I'm already more bullish on say, and this is the momentum that's also increasing, as hopefully you can see. Uh, it's a little bit small, but uh, but but you see a lot of green, so that's good. And then what I think is even more interesting. So so short term, look, it's it's the weekend, so we can have volatility, we, we can have some sort of a pullback here. Um. So 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 when we're looking at levels, I think. I think a level like 34 cents into 32 cents is, is a major support level now. Um, that is also historically quite a strong support level, as you can see right here. Uh, but now it's also um, now it's also supported by the retest of this trend line. You have the retest of the 200 EM, 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 EMA. Uh, you have the 302 FIP here. So technically, that's a very strong level. That's also the level where, where I have a price alert and where I might jump in. Um, uh, so, so, so short term, I do think that even though we can pull back, I do expect the, the the most likely direction to be up here, at least into that resistance level at forty two and, and forty four cents. Now, I spoke this uh, earlier this video about fundamentals. What's interesting to see right here, uh, and that's certainly also helping say, is that the network, like say say is is, is a network. It's a it's a blockchain has been growing since June, and especially since the beginning of August, that has seen exponential growth. And this is not only because the price of SEI has gone up, because we've actually consolidated quite a bit. Well, the network has grown to right now $170 million, which, you know, that isn't the biggest network. But if you, it, it, it does place itself in the top 30 now, and it's almost as big as Cardano. So that's interesting, all right? So, so that's another confirmation for me that we can expect this move up. Like I said, short term in the weekend, I'm not necessarily interested in trading this, but I do think you need to keep your eyes on this. And I do actually think, um, even though I'm always he he hesitant with saying that, I do think you need to look for an entry on this as well, uh, at least if the market stays re stays relatively strong, right? So be, um, be careful, be cautious. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.